How does Sohali Khan unwind? Um, I love to I love to watch films. I love to travel. I'm very much a beach person. Um, so I like uh, whether it's going to Goa, whether it's going somewhere further away from home. Um, you know, I'd, I'd like to just, you know, chill on the beach. I like to listen to good music. I like to read a lot. Um, and I like to write sometimes as well. Mm -hmm. Tell us about the whole Goa experience. That must have been fantastic with your film being screened and getting good. Yeah, um, I, I unfortunately was only there for one night. So I couldn't take full advantage of the whole Goa experience. But it was exciting to go there and see my film being part of a festival. And, um, you know, every time you watch a film um, that you have been in with the, you know, with the audience, it's always a, a different kind of feeling because, um, you know, you get an immediate response. Um, so that was exciting as well. And um, people seemed to like it. And, um, yeah, I was happy. I also went to the screening in Bombay, at the Bombay Film Festival, the Asian Film Festival that was. So, um, so I'm happy that people are going to see it. Mm -hmm. Would you ever actually try sneaking into a theatre when your movie is going on? Um, let's see what the initial reviews of Dilma Gimora are. And then, uh, I've seen, I've been with my brother, we've sneaked into some films. He's gone with like a baseball hat and watched, I think we went to see LOC. Um, and Ek Hasina Thi maybe. Um, so it's, it takes a lot of courage, I think, to go and watch it in an audience because people are very honest. You know, they pay 100 rupees to go and see a film and they want their money, their money's worth. Mm -hmm. What was the response to LOC like? Uh, varied. But there was like some 20 of us who went in, in one row. And I don't think anybody recognized it. They might have. But, um, you know, I think people generally thought it was long. But um, I liked him in it. You liked him? Mm. I like him in everything. <laughs> okay. Is there any particular genre that you would like to explore? Be it comedy, be it action, something that you would love to do? I love tragedy. I don't know why. Um, I find it uh, easier to do as well. Um, I don't. Again, I don't know why. Um, but uh, comedy is very difficult, and I've just today. Even Dilmani Moe is a, is a comedy, um, but uh, I'm looking forward to working with David D, David uh, G, um, on Shadi Number no. One, which promises to be, you know, uh, a definite comedy. And uh, I believe that requires a lot of sort of performance-oriented comedy through dialogues and actions, and um, so I'm, I believe that will be challenging. So I'm looking forward to that. You think uh, Bengali uh, cinema offers more uh, creative satisfaction to women, as you said? I believe that they offer many. Um, lots of the scripts are certainly uh, female protagonist-oriented, um, and. Uh, I believe also because they borrow from so much sort of rich literature, you know, whether it's Rabindranath Tagore, whether it's Sharad Chandra. Um, so I, you know, because the books have been written by so like emancipated people who are so forward thinking for their times, um, be it roles of women, be it, you know, the place of religion in society, be it East, West, um, you know, uh, synthesis, all these issues. So I do think that there's a certain depth to uh, cinema in Bengal. Um, there's also a certain uh, appreciation for these things and even amongst the audience, they're all artists. Whether it's the creator, whether it's the audience, whether it's the light, sound, crew. Everyone really knows their language and their art. So there is a certain depth that you find in Bengal.